had Will Smith gone up and slapped one of the women comedians, would he have been allowed to go back to his seat to sit there through the rest of the award show to go up and accept that speech? And speaking of the speech, first of all, do you think he would have been able to do that had he hit a woman? And then what did you think about that emotional acceptance speech, Dan? Well, look, you know, it, it's not just about, about a woman. Think about it in, in a broader context. What if it had been uh, a liberal hitting a conservative or a conservative hitting a liberal or, you know, anything where, where there was some other piece to this, right? Of course the police would have been there. Of course this would have been a bigger deal. I, I've been stunned at the level of forgiveness for Will Smith. Yes. I mean, I was, I was watching uh, CNN today and they had on just a couple of hours ago two people on together who are you know got some new show on and the both of them are, are giving every possible explanation in the book for will smith well mm -hmm. you know he had a troubled childhood well you know in addition to his troubled childhood he's been very upset lately and you know he's been very tired he's been really you know he's been working so hard and all this sort of nonsense and i say nonsense because you know, when do other people get that as the explanation uh, for criminals around the country who get to say, yeah, you know, I, I was having a bad, a bad day and, mm -hmm. and, and someone, made a, someone made a comment that just really, I don't know, just set me off and be, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, no, that's good. Uh, that works. Yeah, it's just not the way things work and it's not the way the legal system works. So I've just guess I've been stunned at the level, the number of apologists right. that are out there for him. Well, and one thing, you know, I think we have to look at, where is Chris Rock in all of this? You know, at no point did we see anybody uh, making sure that he was okay. We, we've heard that apparently he's not going to press charges. We have a statement from the LAPD, if we could bring that up, basically saying that they are aware of an incident between two individuals during the Academy Awards, saying it involved one individual slapping another. That individual involved has declined to file a police report mm -hmm. if the involved party does, in fact, desire a police report at a later date LAPD will be available to complete an investigative report all right Nick Smith earlier this morning <laughs> on morning in America yes. Ashley joined Adrian and me mm -hmm. and we talked about this because I actually pointed out it's not necessary uh, for charges to be pressed by uh, Chris Rock in this situation we witnessed an assault exactly right? uh, the problem is this too Ellen Kay had mentioned she says I'm not sure what made him do this I can tell you what made him do it it's called a a a alcohol there was clearly <laughs> a bit of imbibing involved in all of this because we know that Will has a, n a lot of good Will built up. Right. right? right. Well, that's uh, so one of the things. This was shocking. I would put from Will, Will Smith. with any other A list actor, mm -hmm. uh, The Rock, Denzel, Tom Cruise. I think right. that Will is of that stature. I can't imagine a situation where Tom Cruise would get up right. and slap somebody like that, right? And I think it's disappointing for so many reasons because we really do see Will mm -hmm. as a good Will ambassador. And I think that he had built up so much credibility that I think he really damaged. His cachet. Well, I would say so too, Thank and that's you. the thing. Like Thank we would you. not expect this Thank from Will Smith. I think that. we don't want to oh. say that we wouldn't expect it from another actor. We wouldn't have expected this from Will Smith. So Ashley, touch right. on that. So we all saw kids, this Nicole. assault. We saw the assault. So is the LAPD kind of doing what Dan mentioned? Or are they just kind of apologizing for him? Because Chris what? Rock doesn't have to file charges for charges to be brought. Yeah. Yeah, Explain civilians that. don't press charges, right? So mm -hmm. let's just get, this is a Hollywood uh, line that everybody uses. I want to press charges. Police press charges. Right. And if it were up to Chris Rock, if that were the, the metric, right, the formula, then I would say about 80% of the domestic assaults out there would never, ever get charged because most women don't actually want to come forward. Mm -hmm. But if there are witnesses, and I think about Rihanna and, and uh, her incident where she was very reluctant to, to be a cooperating witness, but if there are witnesses, you can go forward with a case. So this is a, a societal menace because that can happen to someone else. That can happen to the next comedian, too. So it's not up to Chris Rock to protect the rest of us. It's up to the LAPD to protect the rest of us. But to what Nick was just saying, Nicole, I have kids that love Will Smith. I love Will Smith. Right. He's like an I think so icon. many of us, right. He is mm -hmm. a role model. And now I need to figure out how to explain to my kids, yeah, you can't do that. Right. He can't do it. And I get it. There's no consequences right now. But you can't do that. Ashley, you know the only person enjoying this conversation today? 
the Biden administration because nobody's talking about his gaffe from last week, right? <laughs> Everybody's talking Amen. about this Oscar moment. And well, I just feel like I'm accessing my inner Leland <laughs> Vitter with that because it well, just seems like the perfect distraction. And so, Ashley, you mentioned, you know, being a parent. How do you talk to your kids about it? Dan, I know that's something you wanted to touch on as a father. Now, how do you talk to your kids about what happened last night? Because obviously we never want to condone violence, right? I feel like that's something that, you know, both sides of the aisle can agree on most times. I think that's something most parents can agree on. Well, and, and the, the good news is that it was late enough that, you know, my kid didn't, didn't get to see it. But, you know, I, I think about the number of discussions of microaggressions coming out of a Hollywood uh, celebrity's mouths, right? Oh, well, this is a microaggression. This is a microaggression, et cetera. And now we have not a, a microaggression. We have an overt aggression, right? And, and, and so, you know, again, to say to my, you asked me about my, about my son, uh, who's the only one who's old enough to understand what's going on, you know, I'm going to have to just say to him that, you know, I think he's going to get in trouble. And he's going to ask me, what's going to happen? And I'm going to tell him, oh, you know, the Oscars, the, the Academy's investigating him, and maybe they're going to take away his statue, or maybe they're going to get rid of him from the Academy. You know what? None right. of that's going to happen, by the way. None of that's going to happen. They're going to well, do an investigation. They, they're gonna, no, they're going to do an investigation. They're going to come out and they're going to make a statement attacking him. Right. They're going to say, you know, we, we, we condemn what happened, et cetera, well, et cetera. The fact that he was able to sit, you know, through the rest of the ceremony last night probably and could be a good indication there. there. Are too, there and there are too many people still defending him. Right. That's well, the speaking problem. of that, speaking of that, Dan, mm -hmm. actually, I want to say that it's important to remember there are many sides of this. There are many opinions on this. You know, Dan, you brought up microaggressions. Um, you know, we may disagree on that. I do believe microaggressions are a real thing. Uh, however, now here are some differing opinions on this. I want to first hear um, what Candace Binbo had to say. She's an author. She's a theologian. She was tweeting about this on social media. Let's take, let's pull those up. So she first says, it amazes me how so many people are saying that we've normalized violence, criticizing Will's actions, but have dismissed Chris's actions as just jokes. She goes on to say, Stop saying how fiercely black women need to be protected, then complaining that the protection needs to have a respectful time and place. She finishes, instead of spending so much time criticizing Will's response, might the greater lesson be emphasizing not giving people something to respond to. You don't get to harm and humiliate people and mm -hmm. then dictate the response. And then I also want to pull up Tiffany Haddish's quote as well, comedian Tiffany Haddish, actor as well. Maybe the world might not like how it went down. Hopefully we can get that. I don't think the, oh, there we go. But for me, it was the most <laughs> beautiful thing that I've ever seen because it made me believe that there are still men out there that love and care about their women, their wives. So we have a differing mm perspective here. Anybody chomping at the bit to respond to that? Nicole, I'm going to say I think both yeah. can be true. I think that one can protect black women, one can be respectful of black women, but one does not have to engage in an assault mm -hmm. to protect black That's women. That's fair. I think that Will stole from himself in this moment. Will could have given an impassioned speech talking about the love of his family, the love of respect of black women, the love of what black women have done for him and his community, mm -hmm. right? Um, in that moment, in that speech, without having tainted it by the earlier stunt. I just feel like he missed an opportunity. Well, and, and Ellen, I'll throw it to you. I, I mean, another thing, you know, yeah. he, he appeared to, and again, I could be mistaken, but from mm -hmm. what I saw, he appeared to laugh at Chris Rock's joke initially. Yeah. He did. And then when he saw that Jada wasn't having it, then it changed. Then he twisted off. And, and you know, to, to Nick's point, um, there's never a good time to, to show violence like that. Right. So no matter what is said, comedians don't go to jail or get arrested or uh, get accused for what they say. You know, throwing a punch or a slap does. So what he did was, and again, I'm blown away at how out of character it was. And this morning, all morning long, our listeners were calling up um, asking things like, when will he be on sit down with Oprah? Uh, will Chris Rock and Will Smith host the Oscars next year? Um, uh, what does Richard Williams think of Will Smith right. and what he did? And you saw you saw Venus and Serena, and they were Instagramming all night from all the after parties. They were mortified. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, so many I people think in the that, audience I think were, that he right? Be punished. I mean, the audience reacted. So many. I mean, Again, people us. were just in shock. We've you know, seen how you, many memes 
come from, you know, the, the celebrities' reactions. Yeah, you I talk you about kids. It was it such a ways, raw, right? horrible thing. Yeah. What's mm -hmm. that, Ashley? I, I don't think... I don't think you can have it both ways. I don't think you can have this sort of perspective where you think, you you know, black women need protecting, but then you should be able to assault to do right, so. I think it's just right. a, a very incongruous mm. message, right? And I don't care what people are saying in terms of their, their emotions on this. Mm -hmm. Dan is a lawyer, and Dan probably saw this before the rest of us did. It was a crime. <laughs> Period. There's Good no right. gray area Good around it. There were clear. tens yes. of millions of witnesses right. to it. Right. We all saw it. And again, we've I, seen I, it time I, and time again. It's been viewed did, millions did, of times. I did so. tweet that out last Yeah. Time. All right. Well, we will have yeah. some what, final what thoughts this on this. One? We're oh. going to go to a break. We'll come back. We'll have final thoughts. Also, including, is this possibly a cry for help by Will Smith? Mm. All right, we want to get some final thoughts on the slap heard around the world. Dan Abrams, I want to start with you. I know you do not have a lot of sympathy for Will Smith. However, if we do learn that this is maybe some type of cry for help, maybe there's a mental health crisis, does that at all change what you think about this? If he's formally diagnosed with having uh, some sort of mental health issue and his, those closest to him concede that he suffered a mental health breakdown, Etc. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, then then I then I might be willing to to shift my point of view, but I, I don't expect that that's uh, going to happen. I see Ashley uh, over there moving around in her chair. All right, Ashley, go for it. <laughs> Take it away. Well, I was like, I can't imagine him standing in front of a judge saying, you know, I you know I claim. But it's Will Smith, it's though. You know, happen. I feel like Will Smith will right. get more sympathy than you know your average Joe Blow off the street. Not from not from a judge, but um, but I don't think it'll ever get to a judge. What I yeah. do think, though, and I'm going to disagree with Dan Abrams, which never happens, <laughs> but I'm going to disagree with him oh. on this one. I do think that the Academy is going to do something because something changed in 2017 when they passed a bunch of uh, guidelines yep. for behavior yep. and they stripped Harvey Weinstein of his membership for life. The, I'm going to just read you one line, if you'll permit me for a second. The yeah. Academy may take any disciplinary action up to and including suspension of membership or expulsion from membership because it says unacceptable conduct includes physical contact that is uninvited and in the situation situation inappropriate and unwelcome. I don't know how else you can cut and dry this, yeah. but I also think that they're under immense scrutiny. And Absolutely. I think there are fewer apologists as we become more and more aware that a crime was committed, not yeah. just a defending of the snowflake. All right, honor. Ellen, do you agree? I mean, was a crime committed? Right. Will, will the Academy, just really quickly. Yes, I agree. A crime was committed. I, I think it's disgusting. The Academy allowed Will to stay, make his speech, and then the Vanity Fair led him into the after party where he was dancing to one of his own songs with his Oscar, smiling. Right. I know, with we his didn't even get to celebrating. that. Yeah, celebrating. Yeah. After he hit a guy, yeah. So I hope punishment comes, and I All hope right. that it's uh, we'll something that will make him sit up straight. Ashley, Ellen, K, Dan, Nick, thank you all so much for joining us on our first ever Rush Hour Roundtable. Obviously, this could go on all night. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.